WWE, do you hate me so? What is it that I could have ever possibly have done to you? I know over the past eight plus years, I have ragged on you time after time after time after time. Pointed out your flaws, your inadequacies, sometimes your incompetencies, and all of that. But in the grand scheme of things, I'm a big fat nothing burger. See that? Nothing. Blah, 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 blah. You're worth billions. You shouldn't be worried about little old slug daddy here. Me! But it, it's just like you're obsessed with it. Why do you hate me? You, you, you hate me! Why? Is it because I don't toe the company line? Is it because I occasionally, most of the time, critique, complain about your product, your characters, your storytelling, and all of that jazz? You don't like the look on my face? You don't like my face? You think I am a disgrace to humanity, whatever the case might be? Why, WWE, do you feel the need to pile on? It's bad enough that life finds a way to do it on a consistent basis. It's bad enough that God himself pisses on me all the time. Ugh. I'm looking for escapes. So when I look for an escape, like wrestling for some particular reason, I don't know why I was so bothered to look for escape from this plain ass shit, but nonetheless, I come looking for just an itsy, teensy, wincy, bitsy bit of fucking salvation. Look for something that is an escape. But instead, you choose to pile on. It's like you enjoy watching me get stressed. The nose hairs protruding from my nostrils. Yeah, it's happening. It sucks. Don't ever get old. As the fucking blood rushes to my head and the feces percolate and obstruct in my bowels. It's like you get your kicks, your jellies from this. And what's sad about this? Is again doing this for eight plus years? All the videos, all the topics that have been talked about, it always seems to come back to one thing. It always seems to come back to one freaking person. What did I do to deserve this? As if two plus decades of this overrated, questionable ass mid card act wasn't enough. Now, I turn on the Royal Rumble and after four plus fucking hours, we get to the damn Rumble match. And here we go, number two. Oh, look at me, I'm like Jackie Parker. I do it better than Ric Flair. I do it better than Ric Flair. You don't do anything better than shit. Even shit does shit better than him. But no, you, you wanted to troll me there. That, that's fine. It's one time a year. Your show wasn't that great. Both your main rumble matches suck cock. I get the last lap. You win the battle, I win the war. Da 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 da. So I goes about my own business on Monday night, not really paying much attention. And of course, once again, because everybody seems to get six sadistic put out of this, because they follow your example and your lead WWE. It's, oh, did you see what happened? Did you see the founder? Did you see the, I did you see the, I did you see the, I can't wait to see the faction. I can't wait to see what the slave daddy says. We need a video about this. We need a video about that. We want the videos all the time about this. We just want to about that thing in the world. What's well, not the best thing in the world? It's horrible. And it's bullshit. It's bad enough that you waste a rumble spot on this fucking slap nuts. What do you do, offer these some 24 karat gold? Now we're gonna sit there and bring them out on the wall. And we're gonna associate Road Dog with that. Any redeeming qualities that Road Dog still may have had left are now completely fucking gone. Oh, but that's not all. We wanna waste Elias on this! On him! Why? The whole thing about Elias attacking him with a freaking guitar, you stupid fuck! That does not make Elias a heel. That makes him an even bigger baby face. But I find out that slap 
Rocky Mix Slap Nuts is going to be with the company full time. He's a fucking producer. So that means he's going to have his fingerprints on this product going forward. Which means inevitably, as we can clearly see, because of who the fuck it is, somehow one of the master politicians of all fucking time, found in multiple wrestling companies, just so that way he could keep himself relevant after all those years of being buck buddies with fucking Vince Russo, so that way he could try and never be relevant. 10,000 guitars, broken zero, goddamn dying strong, and all that other shit. Now we've got to have a fucking program between him and Elias? The fuck is going on here? Well, this guy plays a guitar. This guy used to carry a guitar. It makes a ah, shit, it doesn't! Who gives a crap about that fucking slap nuts? That Memphis mid-card piece of crap! He can literally gallop into the arena with a bucket of oak on his stick, dangling him out there for his worst face, bitch of a fucking wife, and I still wouldn't care. Oh, I'm sure a lot of you would love to see that too, and go on the Twitter device, and make sure you let me know all the way around loud and proud. I just don't get it. Why do you have to hate me? Now he's going to be wrestling on Raw? That was 1998. Everything that that man touched eventually turns to crap. Global Force Wrestling, <laughs> that was a good one. He did such a great job initially from a financial standpoint with TNA that he had to turn to Dixie Carter to fucking save the day. And when you're in a place where Dixie Carter has to save your fucking bacon, you know how much you absolutely suck. But you want to hate me? That's fine. You want to play? Oh, baby, I can play. You know what I'm going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. You pissed me off. And being a rational wrestling fan, there's only one thing to do when you got something you hate, something you don't like, something that, of course, is inevitably just going to piss you off and leave you to whine, bitch, and moan about it. I'm going to tune in and watch Monday Night Raw. You goddamn right. And when the time comes and that show has mercifully ended three plus hours later, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to give you a Raw review. That's your penance, WWE. That's the price you pay. When you mess with a bull, you get the fucking horns. You try to go up my ass, all you're going to get is bullshit. Anyways. I don't have a choice now. It's like I'm obligated. And I'm conflicted. Because I hate it. And yet it feels so good. Oh, all the damn people. Why do you have to be him? The road to WrestleMania is going to be run. Tune in after Raw Monday night.